So when you were making like your packages and interviews um, and if you like your editing, how do you know like what to keep and what to leave out? Um, that just comes with experience and, and news judgment, right? I mean, when you're first starting out, you show other people, um, you send your reels to other people, right? So if I'm talking to you and I meet you and you do your reel, we don't know each other that well, but I'm part of your networking um, family. And so you could say, just send me an email and say, hey, Gary, um, can you look at this reel? Can you check it out and see what you think? And again, because all of us have been there, we kind of know the game. And so, and, and, and it's not in, like you're not intruding on us because we were once students and young journalists doing the same thing. And so I think that um, it's a matter of kind of like getting um, recommendations from other people. Um, and then it's also just news judgment as well. The more you do something, the more experience that you have, um, you'll learn. Um, and so again, when you have a colleague that's been working in entertainment for 30 years, uh, they've seen a lot, they've done a lot, they know a lot, so you can pick their brain too. But also a lot of them may not even need, you know, everybody needs an editor, but some need them more than others, right? And so, um, you know, I, I don't want to say that they don't need anybody to check their work because we all do, but they can do it a little uh, more effortlessly than, you know, someone who's just starting out. 